thermodynamic equations. A thermodynamic equation is a balanced equation that includes the physical states of all the reactants and products in a chemical reaction. It also includes the heat or enthalpy change. Remember, we signify enthalpy change by big delta H and it's always measured in kilojoules per mole. If you see the example, the combustion of methane, the change in enthalpy delta H is minus 890 kilojoules per mole. When we burn a substance, we release heat. This is called combustion. The heat required for the complete burning of one mole of a substance is called the enthalpy of combustion. Notice the com subscript after the delta H. Because combustion is exothermic, delta H will be negative. The degree symbol after the delta H in the table indicates that the reactions were carried out under standard conditions. We can also measure the heat given off or taken in for physical processes, such as changes of state. The heat required to vaporize one mole of a liquid is called the molar enthalpy of vaporization. Delta H subscript VAP. The heat required to melt one mole of a solid is confusingly called the molar enthalpy of fusion. Delta H subscript FUS. Both processes are endothermic, so delta H is positive. They require heat. So let's look at some problems. First one, calculate the heat required to melt 26.0 grams of solid methanol at its melting point. First thing, we find out the number of moles of methanol. So you look at a table and you find that the mole of mass is 32.04 grams per mole, which you can write as one mole over 32.0 grams multiplied by the mass of the methanol, which is 26.0 grams. This gives us the number of moles of methanol, which is 1.23 moles. Looking at the table, the delta H fusion of methanol is 3.22 kilo kilojoules per mole, which is then multiplied by the number of moles. We give the final answer 3.96 kilojoules. Second problem, how much heat is produced when, when 350 grams of ammonia condenses? The molar mass of ammonia is 17.031 grams per mole, which we can then write as one mole over 17.031 grams. Multiply that by the mass of substance, 350 grams, gives us the number of moles of ammonia, 20.6 moles. Looking at the previous table, the delta H vaporization of ammonia is 23.3 kilojoules per mole. This is a vaporization. We want condensation, which gives off heat rather than takes it in. So we have to reverse the sign. So it's minus 23.3 kilojoules per mole. Multiply that by the number of moles. That gives us the final answer of minus 480 kilojoules. Three, what mass of ethanol must be burned to produce 1,000 400 kilojoules of heat. We're producing heat, so we should write it as minus 1,400 kilojoules. Looking at the table for combustion, the value for ethanol is 
minus 5,644 kilojoules per mole, which we then write it as one mole over minus 5,644 kilojoules. Multiply that by minus 1,400 kilojoules, gives us the number of moles of ethanol, which is 0 0.2. Four, eight, one. The molar mass of ethanol we know, and we then multiply that by the number of moles to give a final answer of 11.43 grams.